Hi everyone, now we get to the third part, of, no, the fourth part of the video which we will install my script on the client side, the client, the branch, or what you call it, the slave. Okay, let me go to my slide first. Oh no, too fast. Yes, we're going to install it here on the slave side. And then uh, again, I start from cloning my stuff. And we're already in OK. Let's go to HTML and then git clone. This and remember to install duplicity and our diff you don't have it and these other dependencies and then you need to change the ownership to web server for the user and group of my script I'm sorry let me re let me um, remove the course that I previously have I mistakenly uh, commit to the github You can do this, but you didn't have to. Okay. okay, it's gone. Now we need to assess this from localhost, and then my folder. This one. Oh. okay choose Moodle and then go to settings again and then is uh, Moodle this time uh, the Moodle are on my client is a local host So change and again it doesn't do it automatically since I didn't use a JavaScript or an asynchronous way of programming. So press return and then go to settings again and you can see that it changes. So maybe next time I will use JavaScript to do it uh, immediately. Oh I forgot something. I need to copy, I need to make a directory called fajarmodel.sync. Okay, now it should work. Change again, and you should be able to generate a course list. And it's the same. And then return, then you go to taking the first step, and here it is. And as I told you before, that the, that my server is on is connected locally, and so I can access it. Okay, here it is, and if you remember in the previous video, we have this. 
and click the master and to give this URL to the slave so I'm giving this one to the slave okay first, first. let's go to the github and go to the let's see we are now on the seventh step on the slave server go to setting and input the URL given by the master okay and for this one you first have to choose your course then you can go to the setting which I said that, that it will be the setting for that course so first you have to choose the course again choose the course and then you go to settings if you don't go to if you don't choose the course it will go to the general setting and if you choose the course it will go to the specific setting which I have set so it might not be convenient for you but if you have a better way you can give a comment or you can contribute on my github okay I gave the URL of the master and this one change oh, okay so you see um, if I use JavaScript probably it'll do the right thing but I didn't so there's still some bugs in the so and I'm, I'm afraid you have to choose again it's gone and then you go to settings and it's there now you have the far set which is the local settings for the course Mm, okay then let's now now you can press the update button and now this is where we can start so if you don't get if you don't have a course here yet for example if it doesn't detect an mbz file or a tar.gz or a zip or other files it will this button will be a get content which of which will download this file directly from the local file so let's just do it get content ah so quick so just recently I had a bit I had a bit of a just for script to make the loading bar now we already have let's delete this and as I told you on the previous video you can update update um, you can upload your course file manually or you can use this button to get this content to I mean to upload this course content archive to this CLI and it's done now we have a 16 megabyte of course in which we will want to update before we press the update button the automatically um, let's open the Moodle over there and we go to the okay, and it's in the tool. so what is the difference between the the master side course and the slave side course on the slave side I have a general and a starting computer programming one topic of course while on the master side this is the slave side on the master side I have a starting programming I have and I have two other topics called computer network and about penetration testing so this 16 megabyte of course um, has one topic only while the other 30 megabyte of course have three topics uh, two more topics and now I'm going to update this to the latest okay when I'm updating I will update this to here 
here I have a button to oh, okay If this happened, maybe I made the wrong thing on the settings. Oh, okay, I, I made a mistake. Okay, something wrong. I'm very sorry. So, sorry about before that. Um, looks like I... It's been a long time since I have updated my GitHub for this script. Even though I have greatly progressed. So, this is the script that, that was over there. And it's supposed to be like this. Looks like I changed my class to accept uh, more, uh, more what you call it, mm, more variable. And so let's go back to this one. So as I said before, the first step is to create a signature, which we already have. So the automatically will do this all of this manual process. But if you want to check the process one by one I have made the buttons for you to test by yourself so make a signature which is a this one and then then uh, I press the automatic button again and it doesn't work okay we continue I found a problem looks like I forgot to replace this place with a 20% now it should have worked and let's try to send yes it works so it's been a long time that I haven't updated my code and now let me refix the code again it, the problem is in my library need to edit this oh, sign in now continue sorry that I have to do this on my video but here on my when sending the signature I forgot to change the URL uh, I have to edit edit So this one I left it like this and then paste and I forget to change the space with the 20% now let me change and this one and then we change on this one as well so good thing it doesn't work okay eh?
anyway I'm going to remake this video but I will leave this video just in case in when you need to debug okay this should do okay let's just let me do it do things quickly and then let me see um, this one and there is this one and there is already the delta and then I'm going to get the delta oh, time out probably is the same problem okay oh it's already Oh, looks like I still have many bug. Let's change it. Okay, the other problem is also the same that my URL um, need to replace this with percentage oh, I don't need this anymore this one too okay It should work. Okay, then I made. I screwed up in the editing the file. Hmm. Got one close and one close.
Okay, it's done. So, so many stuff that I forgot to rewrite. Now I just need to do the apply patch and complete. Uh, okay, while well, I'm at it, let me do some other checking. Undo. How about using an active deer? Now update. Okay, I forgot to do this, but that's for later. Undo. Now will the split works? I'm going to use four split. Oh, so quick. Yep, it works. That's it for this video.